There's a real question about the birth certificate. There's a real question about the his own his own but citizenship. Sir, there, there is no question. He's got a certificate of live George, birth that George, is recognized by the State Department. I know exactly Department. what you're getting at. The facts. And for some reason, no, they're not the facts. He doesn't have a birth certificate or he hasn't provided. He's given a certificate of live birth. It's a much different certificate instrument. certificate of live birth meets the standard of the State Department the for any one citizen. George. There were contemporaneous reports in two George, Hawaiian they have co-opted you. Given his, no, those are the facts, George, sir. they've co-opted you. Who's they? It's not obviously Obama and his minions. Now, Mr. Trump also appeared on the Today Show this morning and had some kind words about my next guest. Let's take a look. I really respect her a lot. She's got a tremendous energy and a tremendous following. I think that she's been very unfairly treated. All right, so good. Palin, Trump, and alliance be forming. Here to answer that question much more, Fox News contributor, former Alaska governor, Sarah Palin. Governor, uh, out there in the warm weather, thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you, and happy Easter week, Sean. And happy Easter week to you. Uh, well, first of all, I think his characterization was 100% right um, when he said he respects you a lot. You have tremendous en energy, a great following, and that you've been unfairly treated. You guys have sort of, you've been going back and forth. You had some kind words to say about him and the legitimacy of, of this question that he's raising. What do you think about the issue in general? Well, first, I do have respect for Donald Trump and for his candidness. I think people are craving that today in, in the world of uh, political speak that we're coming out of the White House and uh, the confusing messages that come from so many of our politicos. We appreciate that Donald Trump is so candid. Uh, Donald Trump is the one being really uh, treated unfairly, I'd say, though, in the press when they're hammering him about the one issue that he has brought up and not been shy about, and that's the birth certificate. He's merely answering reporters' questions questions about his view on the birth certificate and then reporters turn that around and saying that's all he's got he's all, he's only running on a birth certificate issue when that's not the case Donald Trump is running on the issue bottom line that President Obama is so far over his head he has gotten us on the road to bankruptcy and insolvency and a less secure nation and Trump and so many of us want to do something about that yeah I watched the interview and it was interesting to me because Donald Trump Trump kept saying I don't want to talk about this. I'm, I'm dealing with China. I'm dealing with trade imbalances, oil uh, dependency issues, and all of this. And you keep asking me about it. And it was interesting to watch Stephanopoulos interrupt him no fewer than seven times. And in all the time that Barack Obama ran for president, he was asked one, t one question about Bill Ayers. Gave speeches with him, sat on boards with him, started a campaign in his house. Uh, you've experienced this double standard. You think it's going to continue through 2012? Well, it certainly will continue if candidates allow it to continue. Candidates need to remember that they have control over the message, especially, thank God, in this day and age of the social media and fair and balanced reporters who are out there wanting to just inform the public. You can talk to them and you don't have to give the time of day to those who are so obviously biased.